I'm Emily Lasusa with you again to share beautiful holy reminders for our upcoming feast days. Just within a week's time, we have some pretty substantial feast days to celebrate and meditate on. Now, if you are like me, you've collected more than a few holy cards over the years. So here we have a holy card collection book, and it comes with five laminated holy cards. This handy little book has 20 transparent protective plastic pages inside that will hold 40 standard paper or laminated holy cards. It has a soft, dark blue faux leather cover that's stamped with a gold cross in the center with the text, My Holy Cards, along the bottom. The book has an adjustable double snap closure and measures three and a half by five and a quarter inches. And it does come with five laminated starter cards including a prayer to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, a prayer to the Blessed Virgin, St. John the Baptist, St. Paul the Apostle, who we've just been speaking about, and finally St. Peter. I have one of these little books to hold special holy cards that I've already collected for my baby son. This would be a wonderful way to keep cards together of your favorite saints, prayers or devotions, or the holy cards that you receive for First Holy Communions, for weddings or for funerals. Next, we have a Murano glass bead Guadalupe rosary. It's made with intricate facet cut Murano glass beads that are slightly oblong in shape, measuring about seven millimeters by six millimeters. Each bead is turquoise blue and at its center it has pink roses and tiny pieces of gold and silver glitter under the clear crystalline surface layer. The oval centerpiece measures one inch and features a full length image of Our Lady of Guadalupe on one side and a close-up detail picture of Our Lady's face on the reverse. The silver tone crucifix measures two inches. When laid flat, this beautiful rosary measures 19 and a half inches. And you can store that lovely rosary in this Our Lady of Guadalupe tapestry rosary pouch. It features a lovely image of Our Lady of Guadalupe surrounded by roses on the front. You remember the significance of the roses from when the flowers, Castilian roses, appeared in the middle of winter on the hill of Tepeyac. Our Lady arranged them in Juan Diego's tilma herself, as if these roses from heaven weren't enough to convince the bishop that Juan Diego truly had seen the Mother of God. She also imprinted her image on Juan Diego's tilma, and you can see it for yourself if you make that pilgrimage to Guadalupe. The reverse features a beautiful cross also surrounded by roses. The zippered pouch is lined with nylon and measures approximately five and three eighths inches by four inches, and it's made in Turkey. We have many of these great pouches on our website, and you can find so many uses for them beyond just storing your rosary in it. They hold holy cards, keys, coins, credit cards, your chapel veil, maybe even a pacifier. Here's another item that calls to mind the holy place where Our Lady appeared to Juan Diego. It's a holy water bottle with water from Guadalupe. How special is this? The set includes a prayer card with water from Guadalupe and a two and a half inch glass holy water bottle. I do wanna make sure to note that even though the water is from Guadalupe, it should be blessed by your priest. Then the holy water becomes a sacramental for your family to use devoutly and reverently. Next, we have a sterling silver St. Catherine Drexel pendant with chain. This medal of St. Catherine Drexel is three quarters of an inch high and half an inch wide. It can actually be personalized as well. So you can add up to four lines, 16 characters each of text to the back of the medal. Maybe you know a young man who's considering a life dedicated to God. 
This would be a unique gift for that person, this medal of St. Casimir, the patron of bachelors. You could add your own personal words etched at the back as well. Many people struggle with mental health issues and many saints did as well. Our personal issues shouldn't ever keep us from holiness. They are our path to holiness and our means for sanctification. The Catholic Church gives us a powerful patron for mental health, and that's Saint Dymphna. Here's a medal of her, which you can wear. It's a genuine pewter Saint Dymphna medal and card. This medal is nicely detailed and measures one and one eighths inches. It comes on an 18 inch stainless steel chain. I like that it's perfectly packaged to give to someone. It comes with an embossed pamphlet that contains information on the saint and a prayer. The pamphlet is made in Italy and the medal is made here in the United States. And here is a Saint Dymphna magnet. This devotional and strong button style magnet features a beautiful picture of Saint Dymphna. What I love about this is that it reminds us that she is the patron of stress, anxiety, and mental health right on the front. It measures three and one half inches in diameter. Great for a fridge, student locker, or in a dorm room. I'll share more about why in a minute. We also have a fun Saint Dymphna Tiny Saints clip-on. What a fun and whimsical clip-on caricature of Saint Dymphna. It's made of a soft plastic material with a sturdy swivel lobster claw clasp. So it's great for backpacks, zippers, and keychains. And remember, you can mix and match these Tiny Saints clip-ons and enjoy some savings with these great little holy reminders. And lastly today, I have a very nice compact Ignatius Bible. This is with a burgundy cover and it comes with a zipper. This is an elegant, beautifully crafted, compact edition of the popular Ignatius Bible, the RSV Catholic version. Among its many features, it has eight point font, a three page section of prayers, a table of weights and measures, a six page family record section, Again, a nice zipper that has a miraculous metal pull and gold gilded pages. It measures five inches by six and a half inches. What a wonderful thing it is to carry the word of God with us wherever we go. And this edition is just perfect for that. Let the word of God speak to you from the pages of scripture. If you do and you let it change you, I think you'll find you do have something in common with the great saints like Teresa of Avila and Ignatius. What a wonderful thing it is to carry the Word of God with us wherever we go. This edition is perfect for that. What an awesome Christmas gift it would be. Let's let the Word of God speak to us from the pages of Scripture. I think if you do and you let Scripture change you, I think you'll find you do have something in common with the great saints, like Teresa of Avila and Ignatius. Here is a stunning rosary that can be passed down in your family right along with the habit of daily reciting the rosary. It's a multicolored agate heirloom rosary. This design entitled Devotion is an heirloom sacramental. The rosary is hand wired for longevity and the beads are eight millimeter genuine high quality faceted multicolored agate stones. They're alongside large 10 millimeter clear exotic crystals with bronze rose caps for the Our Father beads. The center and the crucifix are both solid bronze, hand cast replicas of antique pieces. The center features Our Lady of Grace and the crucifix has two cherubs depicted at each end of the cross. This rosary measures 27 inches when laid flat. It comes in a gift box with a burlap rosary pouch I'll show you here. It also comes with a rosary guide and a card with a description of the medals, and it's all made right here in the U.S. I think so many of us can say that we've been impacted by the faith of our grandparents, great grandparents, even senior members of our parish. And one thing they all seem to have in common is their love of the rosary. Even now, my sweet grandmother, who doesn't recognize us because of her dementia, can still join in with many of the rosary prayers. What a legacy to leave with us 
and we do well to follow the example of those who go before us in faith. Pray the rosary when times are tough, when you don't know where to turn, when you can't sleep, can't think straight. Pray the rosary. Let's not let this very important devotion of our faith leave off with us. Let's make resolutions to pray more and to teach our children to pray the rosary. And let's share those treasured rosary beads of grandmothers with our kids. And maybe let them choose a special rosary of their own. There are so many to choose from right on our website, EWTNRC.com. And we have resources to help you meditate on the mysteries of the rosary as well. This one is especially meant for the littlest ones. Our itty bitty countdown calendar to Jesus' birthday. At the top, we have the Blessed Mother and St. Joseph standing one on each side of the manger crib with the star of Bethlehem above against a star-studded sky. And here's the baby Jesus. 24 days before Christmas, the children will place him in the very first pocket for December the 1st. And then each day they'll move him to day two, day three, day four, all the way to December the 24th, Christmas Eve. And of course, on the 25th, baby Jesus gets placed in the little pocket which is attached to the manger. And at the very top are the words, O come, let us adore him. So beautiful to have this decorating your home throughout the Advent season into the Christmas season. Here's a new item to show you, our Sacred Heart and Immaculate Heart visor clip. What a perfect way of taking the Sacred Heart of Jesus and Immaculate Heart of Mary with you wherever you drive. Having this visor clip right in front of your eyes is certainly a way of keeping them in mind, heart, and prayer while you drive to work or go about your errands. The images of the Sacred Heart of Jesus on one side and the Immaculate Heart of Mary on the other are set in a metal frame with a cross in the middle between them. The clip measures approximately two inches by three. I'll show you that here. If you haven't had your vehicle blessed, I encourage you to do so. My husband actually drives a red car. Mine is blue. So we had both cars blessed. His is entrusted to the Sacred Heart and mine because it's blue to the Immaculate Heart. Everyone should really have their car blessed. Next, I wanna show you this framed print of an exquisitely beautiful painting of Our Lady. It reflects the love and purity of her Immaculate Heart. It's our Madonna and Child framed art. Our Lady is rightly wearing a crown as the Queen of Heaven and is holding the child Jesus. She gazes at him while he looks at us with the sweetest of smiles. In the background is a choir of angels looking at them in wonder and adoration. The print comes framed under glass in this gorgeous ornate wood frame with gold finish. The whole piece measures 13 and a half inches by 10 and a half inches and comes ready to hang. I was speechless the first time I saw this image. It is just breathtaking. I love the gorgeous colors. Our Lady's bright blue, the vibrant gold tones. It's just a beautiful image and so unique. Here's a way to honor Jesus and his Holy Mother. It's by wearing this rose carved jujube wood bead rosary bracelet. It's a single decade rosary bracelet made of 10 millimeter dark brown wood beads that are carved to look like roses. The beads are separated by small round spacer beads in the same color. I'm gonna slip it on so you can see it maybe a little bit better. The Our Father bead is cross shaped as a small laser cut image of the crucifix on the front. And on the back is a delicate image of the Blessed Mother holding baby Jesus. It's all strung together on an elastic band so you can easily slip the rosary bracelet on and off your wrist. I really love the rustic quality of this bracelet and it's simple, it can be worn all day, and every day if you want. It's a great way to remember to pray. Next, we have a pink guardian angel rosary with box. This Italian guardian angel keepsake rosary and rosary box is a wonderful gift to commemorate the birth or baptism of a baby girl. The rosary consists of three millimeter pale pink 
pearlized glass beads with a small guardian angel picture centerpiece and tiny three quarters of an inch crucifix. And next I'll show you the beautiful box that came with this rosary set. Here it is with a beautiful picture of your guardian angel here on the front. I'll show you how it opens so that you can keep that beautiful rosary close by on your child's shelf or beside their bed to encourage them to pray. Of course, we also have the same guardian angel rosary and rosary box for boys with pale blue pearlized glass beads with the same small guardian angel picture metal centerpiece and tiny crucifix and it comes in the same nice box. We recently celebrated St. Francis de Sales Feast Day on January the 24th. He's a special patron saint of writers and of Christian unity. In the late 16th and 17th centuries, St. Francis conducted much spiritual direction, and he also worked tirelessly to reconcile many Protestants to the Catholic Church. He did much of this great work using the written word, writing letters to the lay people he guided, and tracts to correct the errors of Protestantism. St. Francis was a bishop, a renowned confessor, a saint, and a doctor of the Church. We have for you here his great legacy work, An Introduction to the Devout Life. This book is one of the widest read Catholic books of all time. It's written especially for lay people as a guidebook on how to get to heaven. It's thorough, authoritative, and reliable. and gives excellent instruction and advice on a wide variety of subjects, including virtues, the sacraments, temptation, and more. Just as holiness is for everyone, this book is for everyone. It's laid out in short chapters, which make it easier to digest and really pray, even journal with each section. You'll see here on the front that the other name for this work is Philothea. The book is addressed as a personal letter to Philothea, the lover of God, representing the reader. St. Francis de Sales shows us that the devout life is a lovely, pleasant, and happy life. How beautiful. This great work can be even more accessible to you if you listen to it on CD audiobook. Listen to the spiritual classic by St. Francis de Sales as you work in the kitchen, drive, or sit by the fire maybe with a cup of tea on a winter's day. You can take in this great work and hopefully grow in holiness, even if you aren't a great reader. We could all benefit from this encouragement and direction on living the devout life. If the introduction to the devout life is already a great favorite of yours and you find yourself turning to the words of this great saint again and again, then you might like to wear this beautiful pendant. It's a 14-carat, gold-filled St. Francis de Sales pendant with chain. The metal measures a half-inch tall by a quarter-inch wide. It hangs from an 18-inch, gold-filled, light curb chain with lobster claw clasp. St. Francis de Sales, again, is the patron saint of writers, authors, teachers, and deafness. You may not have heard the story that once St. Francis taught the faith to a deaf man using a signing system that they created together. That just shows the great love of God, passion for teaching, and gentle compassion of this amazing man. And here's our St. Francis de Sales Tiny Saints clip-on. This whimsical clip-on caricature of St. Francis de Sales is perfect to hang on backpacks, zippers, and keychains. Each clip-on is made of a soft plastic material with a sturdy swivel lobster claw clasp. We have so many of these wonderful saints available on our website, EWTNRC.com. They're regularly priced at $5 each, but quantities of three or more will be discounted to $4 each when added to your cart. Trust me, it will be easy for you to find three that you love. Lent begins this year on Ash Wednesday, February the 17th, and that will be here before we know it. So I want to show you several devotional items that would enrich your Lenten season. The first is this cherry crucifix 
with Italian corpus. This is a beautiful, genuine cherry wood crucifix with an Italian silver-plated corpus and a gold tone halo. It's 13 inches tall and has nicely beveled edges. Right now you'll save $10 on this lovely crucifix. Display it in your home throughout Lent, maybe in place of a piece of secular artwork that decorates your home as a reminder of what Jesus did for you. Lent is always a wonderful time to reflect on God's infinite mercy. So we have two great Divine Mercy items for you next. Our Italian Divine Mercy wall plaque features an elevated oval of the Divine Mercy image with the words, Jesus, I trust in you along the bottom. The plaque that the image is mounted on has a dark brown wood finish embossed with decorative gold scrolling at the corners. It measures five and a quarter inches high by three and a quarter inches wide. I really love this Divine Mercy magnetic rosary bracelet next. This bracelet is an entire five decade rosary that fits easily on your wrist so you can be ready to pray anytime, any place. This is my favorite style of rosary bracelet to wear. It really is so handy. It's made with four millimeter deep red Hail Mary beads and larger seven millimeter double capped Our Father beads. It has a small silver tone crucifix and divine mercy centerpiece with the Holy Family on the reverse of the medal and the divine mercy on the opposite side. It measures seven and a half inches. One of my favorite features that you saw when I put it on is it has a magnetic clasp. So it is so easy to take on and off. And that's what you need to have if you're going to be praying with it throughout your day. It's perfect to wear for every day of Lent. And I think it would be an especially nice St. Valentine's gift since that special day is just around the corner a couple of days before Ash Wednesday. Here's a gorgeous diptych of the Virgin of Vladimir and Christ the Teacher. This classic wooden diptych features beautifully detailed gold foil icons of the Virgin of Vladimir and Christ the Teacher. It's great for displaying in your home, on a desk or a bedside table. It's made of wood with two metal hinges, and since it folds flat, it's great for travel. And with an image like Christ the Teacher, it couldn't be more perfect for a college student or anyone maybe who's studying from home right now. I hope you've been encouraged today as we've shared about our Blessed Mother and the saints and have seen so many items that can sanctify our days and help us on our journey toward heaven. Mother Angelica has a beautiful quote that I'd like to leave you with today. She said, the Christian who is unafraid to admit his personal sufferings will hear the voice of God speaking to his soul. The pruning may be bitter, but the dead branches will be cut away as the vine dresser lightens the weight of the cross we carry. Christ is our divine physician and we have but to take those sufferings to him. That's the first step toward healing. As we go about our day these days, praying for healing and safety and taking all the safety measures we've been asked to take and adjusting to the circumstances created by this pandemic, who doesn't need a hug? If you're a hugger like I am, I cannot wait until I can hug anyone, friends, strangers, maybe not strangers, <laughs> but to cheer you up, we have our Hugs from Heaven dolls. We have a Jesus doll and a Mary doll. See that sweet smile and those open arms just ready to hug you. These adorable plush dolls come in two sizes, small, which is 12 inches high, the size you see Jesus here, and large, 21 inches high, that you see our Blessed Mother. They make for nice gifts too, for children and adults alike, especially on those milestone occasions of birthdays, baby showers, first communions. They're also a great get well soon gift as well. The Hugs from Heaven dolls are a cuddly reminder of what Mother Angelica was so fond of reminding us, that Jesus loves you. 
and so does Mary, his mother and ours. As I said, there are two sizes. So there is a Jesus and an Our Lady in this smaller size, and also our blessed Lord and our mother in the larger size as well. One heroine of God, not in this book because she lived so recently, is Mother Angelica. She founded EWTN out of zeal for God and souls. That was 39 years ago on August 15th on the Feast of the Assumption of Our Lady. So we just celebrated the 39th anniversary of EWTN's founding. This EWTN Warrior's Rosary very much reflects EWTN's mission of evangelizing and bringing lost souls back to the church, a mission that was given to us by Mother Angelica. The beads are made of semi-precious blue sodalite gemstones. Blue, of course, is the color of Our Lady, and being sodalite, each bead is unique. The centerpiece has EWTN's logo over a shield and cross swords, representing the battle for souls through the mass media. And on the back, it has an image of Our Lady of Mount Carmel and a kneeling warrior being knighted. The crucifix is in the shape of a sword, two inches long, and we have it in two tones. Then we have a medal of Our Lady of the Angels. The Our Father medals each represent an aspect of EWTN's mission. This stunningly beautiful and meaningful rosary is handcrafted by Italian rosary maker Ghirelli. And when you purchase our EWTN's Warrior Rosary, you'll also get a Mother Angelica tapestry pouch. On the front, it has a picture of Mother Angelica with a beautiful smile, and on the back, a picture of the stunning monstrance that she crafted for the Shrine of the Most Blessed Sacrament in Hansville, Alabama. Now let's look at another rather unique rosary. It's a ladder rosary, and it's made of clear crystal beads. And it's called a ladder rosary because the beads are strung crossways on a double chain like the rungs of a ladder. The ladder rosary reflects St. Dominic's vision that he had of, of souls climbing into heaven on the rosary. Likewise, St. Francis de Sales once had a vision of two ladders climbing to heaven. One was very steep and led directly to Jesus while the second was shorter and much easier and was held by Our Lady. St. Francis heard Jesus say, tell your people to come to me by way of my mother. The beads on this ladder rosary are made of faceted clear crystal. It has a cutout centerpiece of Our Lady of Grace and a three lobed crucifix with a black line border. The rosary measures approximately 18 and three quarter inches when laid flat. So we also have this same ladder rosary, which is made with black crystal beads. I'll show you here. They have a beautiful iridescence to them. It's very striking. It has the same centerpiece and cross. I really love these ladder rosaries. They feel so nice in your hand. Even though the beads don't slide up and down, I really like the way they twist on their chain. It's so pretty and just very unique. Easter Sunday is one of the most special days in the year. The most special day, actually, because we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. For us here at EWTN, it brings an added bonus because it was on Sunday, Easter Sunday, March the 27th, 2016 that year, that Mother Angelica passed away into eternity, into the arms of the one she so loved. And her birthday is on April 20th. So in commemoration of that date, which is fast approaching, we thought we'd show you a variety of the items we have related to Mother Angelica, our beloved foundress of EWTN. First, we have a Mother Angelica framed art with free DVD. As she always said, even if only one soul is touched by the network, all our efforts would be worth it. But maybe the most significant contribution she made to our lives was the example of her all-consuming love of God and her total trust in divine providence. And EWTN is a result of that total trust. As she used to enjoy saying, sometimes you have to do the ridiculous so God can do the miraculous. She also would say, don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. So without any knowledge or experience, but fired up by her life of prayer and closeness to God, she set about...